Hey everyone, Brendan the Blind Guy here. Now, shut your mouth and listen, because heavy metal is coming home. Because tonight, I'm talking to Peter and Gregor, oh, well, whichever, yeah, yeah. Peter, Gregor, yeah. cool, from Swedish industrial metal band, Pain. That was pain, by the way, in case you don't speak heavy metal. <laughs> yeah. And, and it gets better. Because tonight we're in Sydney at the Boldface Stag and they're going to put your mind in a musical zombie slam. How are you guys? Very good, very good. Yeah, we're doing all right, man. Cool. Nice. Yeah. So your first time ever in Australia. In the past year, you guys have been on a European tour, a US tour, and now your first ever time in Australia. So... Pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. What can us Australian fans expect at a show tonight? And like I have told my videographer friend over there that like I am prepared for the worst. So if I don't make it out of here alive, um, please tell my mum I love her and delete my browser history. <laughs> okay, so run us through what we can expect at a pain show. Like, am I going to lose my life? Uh, no, probably not. But you can def definitely feel the beat, cool. even if you're deaf. I don't know if you felt it on the sound check. Oh yeah. I mean, anyone who's deaf, they can hear, uh, they can feel it anyhow. Oh it's, yeah. It's gonna be loud and it's gonna be a lot of energy on stage. Sometimes uh, I even think, you know, when you do all the head spins and stuff, one day it's gonna fall off and roll over the f stage, you know, the head. <laughs> so we give a hundred percent every time, you know. Oh sweet. Yeah. Well, as long as the vocals are nice and loud, yeah. Because you've got to hear your growling. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so, what about you, Gregor? What do you bring to the show? Hey, man, I, um, I don't know. Maybe Peter should answer that. But uh, I feel that uh, I'm in the right. Uh, Is there a bit of boob flashing or a bit of head banging? Yeah, or? I'm starting to get a hang of the head banging. Yeah. For sure. I think I do, at yeah. least. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> so this tour, the first time ever in Australia, yeah. is in celebration of your eighth studio album, Coming Home, which is amazing, people. you got to check it out, by the way. Just got to put it out there. Okay, so tell us the story about the album. Like, what kind of... Run us through the story of how you wrote it and what it means to you. Oh, uh, that's a tough one. Um... I don't know. I just wanted to do something a little bit different from the previous one. I always try to do a little bit different from everyone. I know people think I'm schizophrenic because it's not really ACDC. You know, they. You know, when you get an ACDC album, you expect. I can't speak anymore. You expect them to sound like ACDC. You know, if they would change, they would kill them. You know, but but I, I always change a little bit here and there, and but still somehow it, it kind kind of glues glues the whole thing together there, it's a little bit more uh taking things a little wider both left and right you know kind of thing you know there's some slow songs with a lot of um, uh, strings and orchestra stuff and there's also some heavy pumping you know uh, industrial stuff you know so i i just made it wider a little bit i think yeah, yeah. well yeah you definitely got to stay true to your own sound but progress as a band yeah. so what about you gregor did you have an input on the album no, I didn't. I'm the last guy in, right? Yeah. So I've been oh. with Pain now almost two years. Yeah, almost two years. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, nice. And Having fun touring the world. I mean, that's a childhood dream, so I can't complain, right? Sweet. Well, you're with, a, we're with them on their record of coming to Australia, so congratulations. Yeah, All right, so how would you actually say that coming home has progressed in sound? Like, for people who are a bit new to your music how would you characterize the progression in your sound from your first self-titled album way back uh in a galaxy far far away uh in 1997 oh that one was a disaster uh, <laughs> uh it actually happened by accident uh because uh i was doing a lot of death black and a little bit more power and, and metal stuff and i really wanted to learn about you know like uh techno uh keyboards and stuff like that more, more like in in the 70s uh, 70s in the 90s there were a lot of uh, goa trans techno stuff and i really love the um the the keyboard sounds in it so i kind of tried to do it myself but they kind of st stunk 
so I had to put layers on guitars over it, and all suddenly it became what it is. You know, you know, it's. Um, I don't know. It's just learning by doing every album for me. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I definitely learn every time. So uh, sometimes it sounds more metalish, you know. Then it's because I just I don't know why. It, it just things just happens. I, I I have no explanation to be honest. You know, it, it, things just happens, and the song writes itself, and together comes the um, the sound with it. So it all depends what kind of song. I'm doing that's how the album's gonna say it, it's really hard to explain it but uh, yeah it, it's funny I do know what you mean because I'm a uh, composing artist myself and I play the piano uh, and yeah it, it's kind of I, I let the music write itself and then afterwards I, I sit back and go oh okay well I've got a song here now how has it progressed and how have I done this and what's it about so I kind of do get what you mean yeah yeah Okay, right, so uh, bringing to your video clips. Now, two of your video clips stand out for me. Okay. okay now, first of which is the all-time classic, Shut Your Mouth. And now, I was watching that today, and I actually find it very visually interpretive to the music. And it's great listening to the song and watching the video at the same time. Because, please correct me if I'm wrong, but the way I interpret it, it is that the alien represents your subconscious that you're fighting with and you just you got this inner struggle and everyone thinks you're crazy and then you're trying to reason with people and then at the end you've got this resolution where you you know you kind of come to terms with your alien and your demon and you know it's a happy ending is, is that kind of where where the song the the video kind of goes uh I or am I just like way off, worlds away? No, I, I mean, when, when you're saying it, it feels obvious, yeah. But I don't know if the meaning from the beginning uh, was really just do a crazy video. Uh, but it kind of fits because I'm kind of schizophrenic. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's me meeting myself, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so what's the deal with the alien, mate? Come on. Like, it's awesome. We all love aliens. But why? Why an alien? Well, it doesn't have to be an alien. It could be anything in any kind of forms, you know? But aliens are cool. And you just randomly sat there and went, let's make a weird video. And it's got these cool kind of eerie synth sounds, which is kind of like a space shuttle coming down. And yep. Okay. Yeah, but actually, I got to give the credit to uh, the guy who who, who did the, the, the director. He came up with pretty much all the ideas so i have to uh give him um, a shuffle or whatever it's called you know oh, okay. yeah yeah and the, the other video clip that stands out is coming home off your new album now you oh i i, I don't want to leave you stranded here gregor no, it's just like oh, well. gregor is in that video as oh. well yeah oh good well yeah. in the coming home video mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because what again? Watching the video and piecing it together with the music, yeah. I is it about your struggles uh, touring the world? And because like a lot of people kind of take for granted uh, what touring the world as a, as a rock star is actually like. They just see all the fame and the glory, and they don't realize all the the pain and struggle that goes into it. Yeah. So is coming home kind of just like? I, I'm fed up with this. I just want to go home, but I can't. I'm on tour. Not really. It's more my mind wants to come back home, kind oh, of. Yeah. yeah. But it fits when you see the video because we, we told this guy to just go with us for like, I don't know, a week and filming everything left and right and backstage and on stage and stuff. And that was on the, the, the first headline tour we did for the new album. Mm. So he kind of clipped it really nice together. I think we what he had, you know, we had some GoPros, cameras set up here and there, and we also had some. Um, uh, it was like camera. He only had one camera, plus we had three Pro Go uh, GoPros, and he really made it really nice by following us day and night, you know. Oh, nice. So, so what about your experiences and your input on the album, Gregor? Uh, not on the album, sorry, on the, on the song, video clip. Oh, I, we, uh, everybody was their self and yeah. their own self and just had, I mean, fun. And 
it, it was my first tour ever, like in Europe, and so I, I still don't get how we did 29 gigs in 31 days. I can't imagine how we did that. Yeah. Still. Oh, wow. Yeah. But it, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Good. All right, now, so this brings me to, well, see here, I, I had this misinterpretation of it being about struggles on, on your tour. But I'm, I'm guessing you do know all about the struggles and, you know, it's not all rainbows and butterflies as a lot of people would think. No. So, you know, and at the end of the day, I, I mean, I, I think you're human. I mean, you, 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 you feel pretty human to me. Yeah. So, you know, it, you know what it's like out there and it, it's a pretty tough world and you know you've been around doing this amazing thing since 97 and you know it's only the first time you've been here in australia so like what's been the biggest challenge and struggle for you and how have you kind of pushed through it and got to where you are today um i don't know like like I sing, you know, the older you get, you know, the wiser you get, you know, you see more, you understand more how the world is really built up, you know, and... Uh, Not in my case, the, but anyway, yeah. Yeah, but anyhow, you can get some kind of sense of how, how things works, you know, and uh, I uh, starting to not really like the world, how it, how it, a few people run all of us, you know, and things like that. I don't watch the news anymore because I, it makes me too depressed. I don't want to go out on Facebook anymore. I go once in a while to, to just put out a photo or something like that because it's just politic, 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 politic. Mm. Everything is just chaos. And it just, yeah, I don't want to see it anymore. No. Uh, well, so what about you, Gregor? What's been like the biggest challenge for you and how have you ever overcome it? Uh, the biggest challenge is, I mean, when you're out, to come back home when you don't get the attention and everybody it's all dead and you like wait until the next door for me to cope with that and come back it takes like two weeks it's a kind of depression when you come come back it takes two weeks to like be human again so it takes a toll on your mentally and physically while on tour of course but yeah but I mean it gets you thinking and I to, to learn how to how Peter is as a human with his songs and now as a human being I start to get his mind a little bit more every day so it's interesting <laughs> oh, oh nice hey, I said this one yeah. no it's all about he's a brilliant guy and we all know it Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we do. That's why we're here tonight. To, we're, we're only here to see Peter. It's just like Gregor, uh, you, you know, oh, just... Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Bring, sit your ass back down, Gregor. No, no, we love you. We do, we do. The band wouldn't be together without you. Uh, I think that redeems myself. Uh, okay, so this is a bit of a question for you, not to leave you out in the cold, Gregor, but... Um, okay, so, well, I know you can actually have input in this. So... Okay, you're, you're, you blend together some pretty amazing genres, as you said, influenced by, like, metal and techno and electronic and the, the synth pop and everything like that, and, you know, a bit of Justin Bieber, Kylie Minogue, and all that good shit that makes me throw up. Uh, yeah. So, you, you know, you've got a very unique blend and s style, and for people who don't know, shame on you, but apart from that, you know, they, they kind of blend together a lot of genres. What's kind of your influence and aim as a band? I don't know. David Bowie. Uh, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra, yeah. Yep, yep. yeah um, I listen to all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, Shania Twain, Deicide, Slayer. You know, you mix everything together and you... Yeah, it's all in my brain, you know. And something comes out. I don't know what it is, but it's just you know harmonies melodies feelings you know the, the the feelings is the most important thing rhythm everything has to click together i think yeah yeah oh well i've got I've, uh, okay. I've got two more for you yeah. okay because i am a chatterbox 
So, okay, I, I reckon we make things exclusive. Just, just me and you, you know, because we're, we, you know, we go back, we go way back, like 15 minutes ago. Yeah. So, what is a fun fact about yourselves that I can't find on the internet and you haven't told any other journalist? Come on, whip it out. Yeah, the fun fact, not something else. Fun fact. Doesn't have to be fun. Oh, just a random, yeah, interesting yeah, fact. Yeah. I don't know. You, you might be a competitive golf player. No, I got a kiss room. Yeah. Uh, collect a lot of uh, kiss merchandise and shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, I got a few cool cars, a 57 Chevy yeah. uh, Bel Air that I really love to drive around in the summer, you know, just turning off my brain from music business and stuff like that and just cruise and be. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay, and what about you quickly, Gregor? Yeah, I'm a competitive golfer. Oh, wow, I actually guessed it. I actually made a only one at a contest. So, a legit only fucking one. So, yeah, I'm happy. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, actually, I've got kind of one and a half more questions. One actual question, then we'll wrap it up. Okay. So you must have some pretty priceless moments on your journey so far. Uh, but what's the most hilarious, priceless, what the fuck moment you can think of on your journey? Come on, spill the beans. Oh, I don't know. I <clears throat> First one that comes to mind. If it comes to me, I think these guys have a, a, a saying that's a sparrow moment when I lose my mind, but... <laughs> with alcohol and so on. Um, yeah, too much party can. Yeah, you you can write f movies with that shit. You know, <laughs> it's no bullshit. But uh, we won't take it too too far with that. But um, I think um, when we're having a good time, it's priceless. You know. Yeah. Anything can happen, and it usually is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so did anything come to mind for you, Gregor? Out of the ordinary, one particular memory, maybe? I tried to pee on, uh, on him uh, on the, uh, from the ninth floor, but yeah. Oh, that's definitely what the fuck. You tried to pee on him. Yeah. Oh. From the ninth floor, he was down on the ground and I was up on the ninth floor. But I oh, oh, wow. He peed on somebody else. You peed on someone. I, that, that I don't know, but yeah, maybe. I don't know. Okay, well... Don't oh. you, you don't remember that that's yeah no they told me that was the sparrow moment one of those yeah moments. well it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys today and i can't wait to see you out on floor yeah. yes of course blind pun intended people so we'll leave it with after the show tonight in the australian tour what's the rest of the year and to infinity and beyond looking like that we can look forward to um we're doing a couple of uh, festivals this summer in Europe. Uh, we're not going to do too many because we did so many last year. So we're taking it slow and enjoy the summer for once. In, in Scandinavia, the summer is very rare, you know. So whatever we can get, we, we try to keep it. And um, then start writing some new stuff and see in a year or two, maybe we have a new album. Sweet. Oh, what about you? Any like modeling or lingerie kind of stuff out for you? Or you know, I could I could just imagine you in a nice summer bikini. Yeah, I have it back in the wardrobe. Yeah. Yep. Playing golf in that. So yeah. doing some it's holding cool. ones. No, it's gonna be golfing. Yeah, uh, and maybe some spending time with the kids and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, all, all the meaningful shit that I stay away from. Okay, well, thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you out there. See you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much.